good morning everyone today we are going to discuss on macularge pitts neuron so this is the first mathematical model of biological neuron and this neuron was invented by two scientists the name of warren macularge and walter pitts in the year 1943 so that is why this particular neuron has been named after the two scientists macularge and pitts so in short it can be called as mp neuron okay there are two possible states for this particular neuron that is neuron may fire or it may not fire so we can say that it may be active that is called as one and it may be silent so it is called as zero that is why this mp neuron is a binary type of neuron okay so here Uh, the weights associated with this communication link may be positive or otherwise negative that means excitatory or inhibitory so we will see the architecture of this macula macularge pitts neuron so you can see that the, these are all called as input nodes x1 x2 xn xn plus 1 xn m n plus m these are all the input nodes and y represent your output node so between these two nodes there is a communication link exist between the input node and the output node so now this communication link we we'll have a weight associated for each communication link so the weights may be excitatory or it may be inhibitory that means the weights are positive or otherwise the weights are negative so weight the positive weights are represented in this diagram by w and negative weights are represented by minus p okay so we need to find out the thresh, the y y value output y how will you find out this output y that is nothing but the summation of the inputs input and also its weight so we can write in short y input we will find out this y input y x1 w1 plus x2 w2 x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus xn wn plus etc up to xn wn okay this is how you will find out the the y input or otherwise in this particular diagram it will be x1 w plus x2 into w xn into w xn plus 1 into minus p plus xn plus m into minus p so you will find out this y input okay so after finding out the net input y input we need to find out the threshold value so there is a fixed threshold for each neuron so if the net input of the neuron is greater than the threshold then the neuron will fire or otherwise the neuron will not fire so this is how it will work so the y will be equal to f of y input that is we are going to apply this threshold value so if the y input is greater than or equal to theta so the threshold value is represented by theta here if this y input is greater than or equal to theta then the fire the neuron will fire so it will give the output as 1 or if it is lesser than threshold value it will be the neuron will not fire so it we will give it as zero so this is how this particular this vecular pitch neuron will work so for finding out this threshold value we will use a simple formula theta will be greater than n w minus p so n represent number of weights and w represent number of excitatory weights and p represent number of inhibitory weights so when you apply this particular formula then you will get the threshold value so using this threshold value you supply it over here and you can find out whether the neuron can fire or it will not fire so this is how it will work and there is no particular training algorithm for this macularge pitts neuron so this is an uh, the working model of macularge pitts neuron so this macularge pitts neuron how it work is that so first we need to multiply the input way inputs into its weights so you will find out this y input value so using this y input value we need to find out the threshold so for this threshold you are applying this formula nw minus p and after finding the threshold value you find out whether this y input is greater than or equal to threshold if it is greater than or equal to threshold the neuron will fire or the way it will not fire so now we will see one simple example of how we are going to use macularge pitts neuron in an example okay now we will see how an not function is implemented using macularge pitts neuron so here we are going to use binary data 
So what is AND NOT function? So AND NOT function is nothing but the output will be true only if the first input is 1 and the second input is 0. So first we will draw the truth table for this AND NOT function. So there are two inputs x1 and x2 and there is an output y. So in this input we are going to write the all possible uh, values. It will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we are going to write the output. So when we are going to use AND NOT function, it will be the result will be 1 only if the first input is 1 and the second input is 0. So only for this particular third case the output will be 1. For other cases the output will be 0. So for this we are going to implement this uh, Macaulay's Pitts neuron. Okay. First we will draw this diagram. So in this diagram we have two inputs. In this itself we have mentioned two inputs x1 and x2. So we are having two inputs x1 and x2 and there is one output called y and there are two waves associated between the two communication link that is w1 and w2 and we are getting the result output as y input. Okay. This is what the diagram for this uh, and not function. Now for the case 1 we will assume this both the weights are excitatory that means both the weights are positive. So we will assume w1 and w2 to be 1. So now what we will do is we will substitute this in theta value theta the finding the threshold value. So threshold value will be nw minus p. So here number of weights is 2 that is 2 I am going to write w will be 1 over here 1 and inhibitory weights we have not kept any inhibitory weights. So I am going to substitute 0 over here. So theta should be greater than or equal to 2. This is what the threshold value. So now what we will do is we will find out this we will apply this particular threshold value in this particular this function. So we will write the function like this y input will be x1 w1 plus x2 w2. So from this diagram itself we can write y input. How will you calculate this y input? That is nothing but x1 w1 plus x2 into w2. Okay that is what I have written here x1 w1 plus x2 w2. So we, we are going to find out the weights. Okay we are going to find out this y input for all the for all the cases. So first, first we are going to take for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. There are four possible inputs, right? So we are going to take for all the possible inputs, what will be the y input value. So first y input will be, so substituting all the w1 and w2 to be equal to 1. So what is the formula? It is nothing but x1 w1 plus x2 into w2. That means y input will be x1 over here is 0 and y w1 is 1 over here. 1 plus x2 is also 0. 0 into w2 is also 1. So you will get 0 plus 0 it will be 0. So you are going to calculate the y input for the input 0 comma 1. So substitute x1 w1 plus x2 w2 that is 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1. So you are getting 1. Next is 1 comma 0 that will be 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1. So you are getting again 1. Again for 1 comma 1 input you are getting 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 so you are getting 2. So if you see in this particular case you can it is uh, you should the neuron should fire only when this particular input 1 comma 0. Okay, for other cases it should be 0. But in this example what we have got is here you are getting 0, output as 0, 1, 1 and 2. So this is not the output for this AND NOT function. So AND NOT function for the AND NOT function the, for the input 1 comma 0 only the neuron should fire. For other cases it should get 0. So these the, the weights we have assumed to be 1 and 1. Uh, will not uh, it is not satisfy this particular and not function that is why we are going for the second case so now we assume different weights so now we assume that one weight to be excitatory and another weight as inhibitory that means w1 to be 1 and w2 to be minus 1 we will assume this particular weight and we will find out whether this particular case will satisfy this and not function or not so if it is if for the input 0 comma 0 you will get 0 into 1 plus 0 into minus 1 so you are getting 0 here 0 plus 0 you are getting 0. 0 comma 1 it will be 0 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1. So you are getting minus 1. For 1 comma 0 you are getting 1 into 1 plus 0 into minus 1. So you are getting 1. For 1 comma 1 input you are getting 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1 you are getting 0. So this particular case if you check so you are getting 1 for only this particular input 1 comma 0. For other cases you are getting 0 that means this is the exact input for this and not function. Now we will find out this threshold value for this particular 
weights w is equal to 1 w1 is equal to 1 and w2 will be minus 1 okay so theta is greater than or equal to n w minus p number of weights is 2 here and w over here is 1 and p is minus 1 okay so p is 1 all it is also the same so that means i'm going to represent uh, you should not substitute minus 1 here you should substitute only 1 so 2 minus 1 it will be 1 so this is what the threshold values so now we will find out this particular function the output of the neuron y can be written as y is equal to f of y input that will be 1 if the y input is greater than or equal to threshold threshold value we have got is 1 over here substitute over here or otherwise it will uh, the neuron will not fire if the y input is less than threshold so for this we are going to draw the diagram so from the, the diagram tells that x1 and x2 are inputs and it will be given to the y and y output and the weights associated with these particular input and output is 1 and minus 1 okay so if any function is given for you first we have to draw the truth table and we need to understand when that particular input will fire or not so based on this we have to assume some weights okay and we have to check whether the weights satisfy that particular and not uh, that particular truth table if it satisfies then we have to find out this threshold value and you can substitute this in this particular function and you can draw this diagram this is how you have to solve uh, my collage with Spoonon. thank you all for watching